Hey Defenders, in this video I want to talk about OpenSearch, uh, a little bit of how it came to be, what exactly it is, and what the legal battles were that caused the creation of the OpenSearch project. So stick around and we'll jump into it. So as you guys know and should be familiar with already, uh, Elastic and the Elastic Stack, so Elasticsearch, Kibana, Filebeat, Logstash are free and open source. And Elastic will continue to offer their solution as a free and open source solution to use. However, Amazon was actually selling the Elastic Stack as a service. So within AWS, you could register a elastic service through them uh, they would spin it up and host it for you but elastic search got mad because amazon was benefiting financially from selling this service um, and elastic also got mad because amazon wasn't contributing enough to the project so as you guys know with any open source tools uh, anyone is free to contribute uh, but Elastic didn't feel that Amazon was contributing enough in future development and product features. And, and so the Apache 2.0 license that Elastic was previously deployed with um, didn't for, forbid Amazon from selling, the, from selling their solutions as a service and profiting off of it. So in return, Elastic replaced the Apache 2.0 license to prohibit Amazon from legally being able to sell the Elastic Stack as a service to their customers and really trying to take a jab at Amazon's pocketbooks um, by, by doing so. So <laughs> what Amazon did in retaliation was fork the Elastic project. So with any open source tools, uh, with anything open source and hosted on GitHub, uh, you have the ability to, to fork projects. Um, so where you're bringing in all of the source code, that is the project. So Amazon forked the Elastic project and spun up their new project called OpenSearch. And OpenSearch is pretty much the same thing as Elastic, um, except it is a community driven and they derived it from the Apache 2.0 license of Elasticsearch version 7.10.2 and Kibana 7.10.2. So really under the hood, it, it is still Elasticsearch, it's still Kibana. In the next video, when we install the OpenSearch solution for it, we're still installing Elasticsearch and we're still installing Kibana under the hood. Um, it's just predated back a few versions is on like 7.14 right now. Um, and that of course complies with their new licensing that they did to combat Amazon. So now with the open search fork, uh, it is based off of Elasticsearch 7.10.2 and Kibana 7.10.2. So the underlying features of Elasticsearch are still there, um, but what the team at Amazon did and they have a big backing. It'll be interesting to see which way the community pivots. You know, will this be, is this a smart move by Elastic to change the licensing scheme to try to restrict Amazon and Amazon from profiting? Or will this now start to shy away the strong community that was behind Elasticsearch and they'll pivot to OpenSearch? Uh, really only time will tell. Um, but development is backed by the open search community, which uh, Amazon actually has a development team assigned to the open search project. So hopefully we'll see some good development and feature improvements uh, along the way. Uh, and they, they just released uh, version 1.0. So this is their first releasement of open search uh, that isn't beta, that is ready for production. Um, and there are a few differences. Uh, open search actually includes some features uh, such as uh, SAML cross cluster replication. Uh, 
and also some advanced security features to where you can restrict documents by the by data that's within the index itself and we'll we'll take a look at that in in future uh in future videos but really what does this mean for me um for the most part probably nothing as long as you're not a mssp that is reselling the elastic stack to customers then you can still continue to install Elasticsearch and Kibana, the latest versions within your internal networks. Um, you can still use it freely. Uh, Elasticsearch hasn't changed that at all. Uh, but if you are a MSSP or selling the Elastic stack to customers, so basically, you know, customers are forwarding their logs to your infrastructure and you're hosting it for them, um, then OpenSearch will be the solution that you need to implement. Um, so for probably 95% of people, this change in licensing doesn't really apply to you. Um, you're still free to use Elasticsearch um, as you want, but we now have the open search option. And there are also, like I just mentioned, some free advanced features that Elasticsearch actually charges for um, to be able to get these features like SAML, so to kind of recap, um, Amazon was profiting off of Elastic and profiting big time. So in retaliation, Elastic changed their license, um, which then resulted in Amazon forking the Elastic project and creating their own, calling it OpenSearch. It will be interesting to see where this goes. Is it a good move for Elastic? Is it not? Uh, I guess really only time will tell but in the next future videos uh, we will install open search and kind of peel it back and see what it looks like under the hood and take advantage of some of the advanced features so i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and i will see you then